morning guys, welcome back to this uh, episode of UK Trucking Diaries. What a beautiful morning. We've uh, just woken up this out here, this uh, just outside Bourne. Um, it is half past eight, we can just about, the time is just about coming round to be able to uh, pull away. Um, obviously this is part two of two. I shall put a card up here so that you can link straight back to part one if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, we have two drops today. We've got this one at Bourne and then we've got another one over towards Kings Lynn and then we got the drive back. So hopefully we're back too late. But we had a late start yesterday which means we're going to be late back today. So uh, we should crack on through today. Hopefully try and make up some time. We'll see. Depends on the traffic. It's Thursday today, so it won't be great, but it won't be as bad as a Friday. So, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, let's crack on and uh, see how we get on. Here we are on board. Looks like we've only got one truck in the queue, so hopefully we won't be waiting too long. We never usually have to wait very long here anyway, she's pretty quick. Uh, looks like we've got a few empties to collect. Should be pretty straightforward. Right, I go and take my paperwork to the office. I go and see what the score is. And we're away from here. We were here for just over an hour. Not too bad in the grand scheme of things. We had uh, two rejected pallets, which is unusual. Obviously, weren't happy with the look of something. Anyway, we're gonna. Uh, what's the time now? Ten past ten now. We're gonna head on over to um, the other side of Kings Lynn. We're due to get there at about midday, 12 o'clock. That means probably looking at back at the yard between 6 and 7, I expect. We'll see, might be a little bit later than that. Anyway, we'll uh, carry on with the trip on over there and uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. Last drop done, folks. We can head home. We've only got 193 miles to go. And sat now was saying that we're going to be back at the yard by five o'clock. Add in a bit of traffic, add 
add in our 45 minute break that we need to take and that'll probably be half past six, seven o'clock. By my reckoning. So yeah, we got there at uh, 10 to 12. It's quarter past 12 now. Just one pallet come off. It's a small, uh, small nursery place, so get a tip straight away. Um, yeah, this is my uh, my last run this week. Uh, I got the weekend off. And I'm working Sunday night for a night run down to Dover, which I will vlog because we've not done one of them in a little while. Do, 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 do. So uh, I'll. Um, I'll leave you to it and I will speak to you when I stop for my tea break um, and I shall give you a bit more information on this book review that I'm going to do. Doing guys, just stopped for my 45 minute break. Um, we are about three hours away from the yard, um, so it's looking like we're going to get back to the yard about half past six. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you about a book I've been given to review The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Uh, Malcolm has been uh, driving for 18 years and he's still a driver. Um, I'm not being paid to do this review, he's just supplied me with a book to review. Um, and I've spent a few days uh, reading this book from cover to cover. Uh, I've got a really good understanding of it. And it's a really, really good book. Uh, it's really easy to understand, everything's been put into a really easy format. Um, you can reference everything really quickly. This has got everything in it um, from first aid, um, how to use a sat nav, uh, driving abroad, analog tachographs, umbrella companies, um, all the different trailers that you might come across, driving env environmentally. Um, there's a section on roping a sheet in, there's a section on different gearboxes. So this book would be really good for someone who's just passed their test and are looking for something to, um, to use to be able to gain knowledge on starting their first job. Because um, when you pass your test, that just, they just teach you to pass your test. Um, this contains lots and lots of information that's been gained over years um, that would be really, really useful for someone who's looking to start their first job. And it's also for anybody, really. Um, you know, there's there's so many people who passed their test 20 years ago that haven't even picked up a highway code, so um, they're very thin on legislation. Um, I was actually thinking about giving this book away. I'm actually gonna keep it for myself because it's a really, really good quick reference guide. Um, it's, uh, yeah, there's, there's everything in there from uh, Goes goes really really um, easy to understand. Uh, drivers hours rules, and there's stuff on um, a new driver's first shift. Um, a big section on doing your your walk around checks. Um, I but I will give a balanced review. Um, I don't sell my soul to the devil with any of this uh, stuff that I review on my channel. There's a couple of indiscrepancies uh, that I need to highlight for you uh, that you need to be aware of when you're reading this book. Um, the first one is um, for working time directive in air a couple of times it states that you need a 30 minute break before your six hours. It's actually a 15 minute break. 
Um, it states in there a couple of times that you can't work more than 10 hours on a night shift when you actually can if there's a collective agreement with the workforce. And it also states that vehicle checks need to be at least 15 minutes um, where there is actually no set time. Um, I know this truck that I'm driving at the moment. I can do a walk around, check what I need to check, do the paperwork, um, and it takes me about 10 minutes. Older truck that you've, uh, you're not familiar with, it could take you 20 minutes. It's up to you, there's no defined time. Um, some of the content is um, based on opinion rather than fact. Uh, so, for instance, there's one part in here where it's, uh, it mentions about driving tired. Um, and it says if you're going to be delayed, um, excuses for delays uh, you can use, such as headaches, migraines, intermittent fault with the truck or emergency services. Um, I don't consider that as very, uh, very professional, um, having to lie to your employer, and I wouldn't advise it. Uh, all modern trucks nowadays are fat, uh, fitted with trackers and stuff like that, so you'd, uh, you'd get found out. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things to consider whilst you're reading this book. Um, but apart from those uh, couple of little things, really, really good. Definitely recommend it. It's something that I'm going to keep, I'm going to use. Um, if you're a new driver or an experienced driver, everyone can learn something in here. Um, really, really good. I'll, uh, I'll leave the links below. Um, you can purchase this from uh, the website or you can purchase it from Amazon. Um, they're in both of those places. Um, definitely comes recommended. Uh, so there you go, a balanced review. Um, I won't sell my soul to the devil and tell you it's good if it's not. Um, and vice versa. Uh, there's a lot of YouTubers out there doing that at the moment on the uh, scrabble to the top of the, uh, the YouTube tree as it is. It's not what you'll get here. It's uh, completely open, honest, and it's all about you guys. So, anyway, I'm going to get back on the road. I've got three hours driving to do. I need to get back for... I need to be home for 8 o'clock. Because um, we've got things to do. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pick some music to chug along to. And uh, I'll speak to you in a little while. Back at the yard. It's uh, quarter past seven, so didn't do too bad. Got held up a little bit on the uh, A31. The taco started flashing at me because I've got 10 minutes driving time left, so all time's pretty well, so uh, I'm quite happy with that. Happy with the two day run. Glad to have had you along. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers, guys.